From being a champion from a very young age to looking essentially unbeatable thanks to an unbeaten record, Shavkat Rachmanov has the UFC scared because of his insane potential. And let's be honest, there's good reason to fear him too. Right off the bat, Rachmanov's striking is exceptional. Duh, you saw this coming, obviously. If you don't have a special ability in terms of striking, you can't make it big in combat sports. Luckily for Rachmanov, and very unfortunately for the rest of the UFC, the Kazakh stars got the whole package. From powerful punches and lethal kicks, he's got a lot of ways of ending the fight. But 99% of fighters can throw a good punch. What does Rachmanov do that's better? Well, it's simple. His accuracy in throwing those punches and kicks is what sets him apart. This leads to the young star getting a lot of significant blows on his opponents, and before you know it, he's already well ahead in the score. And that's why his reputation for being a dangerous fighter is very well deserved. But it happens very rarely that you actually end up lasting the entire fight when you're against him, because Rachmanov is absolutely a sensation when it comes to finishing his opponents off. Still though, it's good to have a backup plan if your opponent is being stubborn, right? The best part is, you'll almost never see him taking a risk early on in the fight, which showcases that he's ready to go all the way. And it's only possible because he can throw a fight-ending punch or a kick, and he has enough trust in his ability to rely on his striking. And that's what sets Rachmanov apart. However, if his striking wasn't great enough, the 28-year-old also is an elite grappler. Oh. Spin kick to the body, and that was a powerful kick. Oh, Rachmanov sets in the moment here. Fighters in the UFC can comfortably overcome their opponents if they're only good at one thing. That's not the case with someone like Rachmanov. His grappling is just unfair to the rest of the players. A black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, many believe that Rachmanov's grappling is his best skill, but I disagree. It's one of the best talents that he possesses, and it just goes to show how talented this dude is and what an insanely high ceiling he's got. Honestly, I sometimes just open the window watching Rachmanov go about his business, because even just watching him fight suffocates me. In modern day UFC, to be effective and to see out fights, especially against the ever improving field, you need to be at least a decent grappler. But Rachmanov's got a strong ground game, and he's very adept at submissions, allowing him to always regain control of the fights and finish them on the mat. No wonder the UFC is absolutely bricking it. But you'd be wondering why I said Rachmanov's grappling isn't his greatest asset. That's because his mental toughness is actually the reason why everyone should fear him in the UFC. I'm not kidding. This man is a machine. He doesn't know when he's beaten, and that's literally why he's never been beaten. Neil does not make many mistakes defensively. I, I believe Jeff lost his mouthpiece. Is it? Even though there have been moments when his opponents would have felt that they were in control. But a few minutes later, their entire world comes crashing down. I mean, come on. I know the significance of being able to take a punch, but think about it. This fella from Kazakhstan just refuses to acknowledge that he's under the kosh, and that's down to his mental toughness. And it's a brilliant approach on paper, but it's so hard to execute it. Think about it. Have you ever been in a fight? Hell, forget a fight. Have you ever ever been in a verbal altercation, where the opponent is absolutely owning your backside. You get flustered, don't you? Now, imagine getting smacked and having your lights blown out, but still keeping your composure and not losing your head. That's Shavkat Rachmanov for you. That resilience is what makes him so special, and I believe having a winning record and being a champion from a very young age contributed to his winning mentality. He knows that momentum is always swinging back and forth, but knowing that you'll get another Another chance requires a bit of patience, and Rachmanov has it in abundance. A lot of power, but tremendous balance by Carlson Harris. Not to mention, he's very careful about when he rushes, which indicates how willing he is to wait for his chance. But even more importantly, he's also fearless, as you could probably see from his recent fight against Jeff Neal. Do you remember what?
what Neil was doing to him? When the fight got scrappy, Neil managed to land some significant blows on Rachmanov, and one of those blows took his mouthpiece out. Most players would definitely lose their composure or get a bit defensive when that happens. Obviously, it's a safety precaution, but not Rachmanov, no. He genuinely got more aggressive, and in fact, he was more than happy to fight without it, especially considering the referee didn't notice it, until Joe Rogan pointed it out. But that's the thing, man. How do you fight with someone who just doesn't have any fear of losing or getting beaten up? In fact, I think the best moment of that fight came when his mouthpiece was out. Yep, when he landed that head kick on Neil to break him open. Demonic. But as any fighter would tell you, avoid the cage. However, Rachmanov didn't get the memo as he became a master of wrestling against the cage. Just look at his few fights in the UFC, and then his entire MMA record. If you're lucky enough to find some good highlights, you'll realize just how much Shavkat likes to be put against the cage. Most fighters not only avoid it, but they also don't want to get trapped. But not Rachmanov, no. This is mostly down to his timing and weight reading. If you look at his takedowns in the UFC, you'll see that many of them came from this position. It's just the perfect trap to set, because if the opponent clinches up and engages in an upper body battle, they will eventually shorten their stance to try and pull him, which is exactly what Nomad is waiting for. He waits for this move and then hits his judo style takedown, because as soon as the stance becomes shorter, it allows him to kick inside and elevate the hips. This is no doubt a risky move, but also an equally high reward one. And given the kind of control he at least seems to have in his early days in the UFC, it's hardly a surprise that he's always taking his opponents to the cage. No wonder the UFC world is absolutely terrified of his potential. And yes, the keyword is potential. Rachmanov has a fantastic record, no doubt, but he's still not a finished article. And that remains a scary, scary thing if you're a UFC welterweight fighter. Because as he's proven, he's already better than most and his ceiling is honestly sky high, especially when it comes to his diverse technical skill set and physical ability. But when you also factor in the traps he sets, it gives you an insight as to how clever he is in the ring. That IQ is another trump card in Rachmanov's arsenal, and his ability to take down his opponents, come out on top against them when they believe they're on top, and his mastering of the ability to stand his ground and pound in a way that few others have done so makes him one of the most fearsome prospects in the coming years in the UFC. And he really is the future of welterweight, especially if he remains on this upward trajectory. After all, he's won all 17 fights that he's had as a mixed martial artist. That's all I had on why Shavkat Rachmanov is scaring the hell out of the UFC.